Now this year, Jimmy Cricket is celebrating 50 years in the entertainment business. And we went along to his very special show at the Plaza Theatre in Stockport. Are you looking forward to going on your holidays this year? Yes. Lovely. I've just been on a foreign holiday. It was a split week. Three days in Spain and three days in Manchester Airport. <laughs> Jimmy, here we are at the Plaza in Stockport celebrating 50 years of your career. Yes, uh, Martin. And, uh, well, uh, I want to uh, thank you for uh, some of the features you've done for me over the years for the Irish in the UK. And as you rightly say, this beautiful Plaza uh, Cinema and Variety Theatre, and uh, it's here. It's very exciting today because we have one of the best choirs in the whole of Lancashire, the Do Your Thing Choir. Hooray! And they're going to be on the show. They've got some lovely songs to sing. And they've actually got to have their special Wellingtons. And they'll be... set up Do Your Thing 11 years ago for anyone who loves to sing, so we're a community choir. Uh, recently we've uh, had a kids choir and a youth choir as well, so it's just for anyone who loves to sing. So we get together every week and have a great time singing great songs. We've got children as young as six who've never done anything like this before who are really looking forward to it as well, so it's going to be a magical afternoon. These lovely theatres, they wouldn't exist without the volunteers. There's an old saying, you know, folks, there's no bigger heart than the heart of a volunteer. And the plaza has volunteers in spades. We've always had, had, had good turnouts here, which is always a, a, a great blessing that people still enjoy the family, clean, wholesome humour. Uh, there's always a market uh, for it, you know. Um, and you've Martin performed so many times here at the Plaza I have. during your career. I have. It's like home to you, isn't it? It is. It's like coming home to a family. I was in the doctor's waiting room one day and a little man came in like this. And five minutes later, he came out of the doctor's surgery like this. I said, little man. I went into the doctor's like that and came out like that. What exactly did the doctor do? He said, he gave me a bigger walking stick. <laughs> you performed at the London Palladium. What was that like? Oh, yes. I mean, uh, it has such a history. It just had such a history, Martin. I was blessed. Jimmy Tarbuck was comparing. I've been for a job. He said, where do you come from? I said, Ireland. He said, have you lived there all your life? I said, not yet. <laughs> and the, one of the nights I was on, the Everly Brothers were on, would you believe? Wow. And now here is a true story. Later on, about a year, year and a half later, my friends and I, Dusty Young, the comedian, and his wife, Carol, and my wife, May, we went over to New York on a holiday, and we were staying at the Hilton Hotel, and I noticed I came down the foyer on my own, and there was a very familiar figure uh, leaving in his key, and he walked outside. I went to the reception, and I said, who's that? She said, oh, that's Phil Everly. So I ran out. I was a bit worried. I door stopped him in the street. And I wasn't sure because I said, Phil, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm Jimmy Crick, and we worked the London Palladium. And I thought for a minute with all the traffic, New York, muggers, whatever it was, but he held his hand and he said, lovely to see you again, Jimmy. 
And I said, where are you playing? And he pointed across the street to the Radio City Music Hall where he was doing a show. That's in my new book, by the way, uh, called Memoirs of an Irish Comedian. Uh, Come here, there's more, the story of Jimmy Cricket, which uh, can be bought on Amazon uh, now. You can tell all my story from my growing up, being born in Cookstown, moving to Belfast, um, how I sort of started off as a red coat in Mosney, in, in County Mead, how I came over, did all the northern clubs, and then I got a, a, a break on television on a, a talent show called Search for a Star, and that was a great, great... I came into people's living rooms after slogging uh, eight or nine years uh, uh, in the clubs, and then three or four before that on the holiday camps. You know, there's an old saying, Martin, the only time you start at the top is when you're digging a hole. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing one glove because I heard the weather forecast. He said, today was going to be sunny, but on the other hand, it might be cold. <laughs> <laughs> and it's jokes like that one are keeping me out of the big money, you know that. <laughs> for around 25 years um, and we are um, performing art school in the centre of Stockport so we do classes from age 2 right up to 18 um, in ballet, tap, jazz, street dance, all different, all the dance styles available and then we are also a sixth form performing art school, BTEC college during the day as well. Um, of our juniors today. They've just come straight from a competition, so they've um, they've done the dances already this morning. And um, but they they know they roughly practice about four or five times a week. I've known Jimmy Cricket now for about 25 years. Marvelous man. We met uh, through Francis House Children's Hospice where I've raised all this money for I'm 21,000 short of a quarter of a million. Uh, but Jimmy has been marvellous all over the years with me, helping me with shows to raise the money for Francis House. So I can't say a bad word against Jimmy at all. Absolute wonderful man. On uh, <clears throat> uh, the 18th of April, uh, we've got Stars In Your Eyes come out for Francis House. I've got Herman's Hermits, the foremost, Nancy Ann Lee, and all the money is for Francis House. We're doing very well with the tickets, but if anyone would buy any more, I'd be more than grateful. How can they get them? Uh, you can get them here at the theatre. Okay. At the theatre, no problem whatsoever. He said, look at this, I've had a bill from the gas board. I said, show me. What does it say at the bottom? He said to be paid within five working days. I said, are you working? He said, no. I said, well, don't pay. I keep saying, if I can get to a quarter of a million before I come count, I'll be happy. How many of you actually in the choir? 
That's a good question. I think in total we probably have over 100, um, which is which is fabulous. And I think there's around 70 of us today. Now, if people wanted to, to book you, how can they do that? Yes, yeah, so if you go to uh, www.dyt, which stands for do your thing, choir.co.uk, you'll find all of our information on there. My good lady, well, she's my road manager. She's sound and lighting when we turn up at clubs. She sings in the show. If I wasn't married to her, I couldn't afford her. <laughs> This that Jim. says it all. No, we love her to death. And next year, we'll be celebrating 50 years married. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So we'll have to have another cat. We'll have to have another show, everybody. Jimmy, many congratulations. Honest to God, on all the entertainment you've given us down over the last 50 years. Well done to you, mate. Well done. A pleasure, Martin. Pleasure. Congratulations, Jimmy, on celebrating 50 years in the entertainment business. What a wonderful achievement. Well done to you and to all your family. Now, we'll be back next Thursday evening with the Irish in the UK at 7.30. And just before us, Henry McGlade is here with his show from County Mayo at 7pm. Until then, take good care. <laughs>